Member for North Vancouver Lonsdale. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'm pleased to be able to rise and speak to the motion today, be it resolved that this House recognize the importance of British Columbia's tourism industry, that it plays in our province's economy, and the challenges posed by recent decisions. As many other members have already noted before, BC's tourism industry is absolutely critical to our economy. The industry generated $17 billion in revenues and contributed $7.9 billion towards BC's GDP in 2016 alone. This industry supports more than 19,000 businesses and employs thousands and thousands of people across the province. In fact, one in 16 people across this province. But why is it that BC has such a draw for people around the world? We have the Cloverdale Rodeo and the p &E. Those are pretty popular, but that might not... That's right, the Cloverdale Rodeo is coming out in two weeks. But that might not quite be it on its own. I've heard the high-end shopping here is pretty good too. I mean, if you can drop a, a paycheck on a t-shirt. Uh, we also have a pretty rad Chinatown, that's for sure. I know that draws a lot of tourists as well. In fact, there are a lot of really good reasons for travelers to be drawn to BC, but I dare say that one of the most important draws we have here is our supernatural British Columbia. It's been mentioned before. For over 30 years, that well-known brand has drawn millions of people to come experience our pristine natural environment every year and has brought billions of dollars with them into the province. Cruise ship tours, camping, hiking, helicopter tours, whale watching, kayaking, boating, wildlife viewing, diving, surfing, storm watching, and recreational sport fishing. People come from all over the world to interact with our environment in all sorts of ways. So the recent decision I'd like to talk about today, Madam Speaker, is the decision the members opposite have made to not only fail to stand with us, but actively oppose our government's commitment to defending BC's coast. The Trans Mountain Pipeline expansion is a controversial project, to say the least. Unfortunately, it is also a project whose approval or denial does not rest with the BC government. It's in federal hands. I know this. The opposition knows this. Our government knows this. And the federal Liberal government, led by Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, has made it clear that the pipeline Members. will be built. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And so, as a province that respects and abides the rule of law in Canada's constitution, we have been processing Kinder Morgan's permits, as is re legally required to, for us to do. They have applied for just under 600 permits and have received at least 200 of those permits so far, while another 400 or so are under review and moving along. And while we are doing that, Madam Speaker, we are also looking for ways to fulfill our other duty and obligation, and that is the one we have to protect the coast and all of the communities and industries that rely on a clean and healthy coast. Industries such as tourism and resort communities like you Euclulet, which welcomes thousands of visitors every year, and Tofino, which welcomes nearly a million visitors every year. According to Canada and BC Oceans Committee, the total economic impact of ocean recreation in BC in 2005 was $3.8 billion, and no doubt it's been climbing ever since. These activities include saltwater angling, whale watching, ocean boating and sailing, scuba diving, guided kayak trips, beach activities, marine park visitation, and the like. The impact of a diluted bitumen spill on our tourism economy could be devastating. People don't come to BC to surf off of contaminated beaches. People don't travel across the world to watch wildlife dying from an oil spill. People don't travel through oceans on cruise ships to take in the smell of petroleum in the air. A cat catastrophic oil spill would devastate our tourism industry and would put far too many British Columbians in jeopardy of losing their livelihoods. So it's no wonder that when faced with the looming threat of a sevenfold increase in diluted bitumen oil tankers traveling through and along BC's coast, that BC's new government is committed to defending BC's coast by exploring all the legal tools available to us within our province's jurisdiction. This includes ensuring regulations are in place to ensure that we have not only environmental, strong environmental protections, but also the capacity to clean up a spill if one should happen. Such regulations are fully within a province's jurisdiction to want to protect their provincial environment and economy from hazards that can and should be managed. So I find it difficult, Madam Speaker, to listen to the members opposite stand up one by one to talk about how important BC's tourism economy is 
while actively opposing this government's efforts to protect it. Thank you.